Hi, I'm Lily. Today I'm going to read Ginny B. Jones has a pip in her pocket. Chapter six. Farmer Flores. Farmer Flores did a nice smile. Your teacher tells me that that you're not happy about being here today. He says. I felt my forehead again. I'm ill. I said. Yes. Well, I've been thinking about how I could make this a better visit for you, and I was wondering if maybe you would like to be my special form hand today. Do you know what a special form hand is, Jenny B? I shook my head. No. Well, for one thing, the special form hand gets to walk with the farmer in the very front of the line. Would you like that? Do you think? I did my shoulders up and down. I don't know. Maybe I said, and also the special farm hand gets to be the very first person to sit on the tractor," said Farmer Flores. "Does that sound like fun to you?" I said, "Very be." I don't know. Maybe I said. Oh, he said. But here's the most important job of all: the special farm hand gets to help me keep all the children in order. Just that my mouth came all the way open. In order? I asked, very thrilled. You mean I get to order the other children around? Farmer Flores rubbed his chin. Well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way," he said. I quickly grabbed my backpack. Well, then, what are we waiting for, Farmer? I said. After that, I ran off the bus, speedy fast, and I clapped my hands real loud. All right, people, get in line. Farmer Flores is going to show us around, and he doesn't have all day forks. Pretty soon, Farmer Flores and Missus came off the bus too. They told the children to please hold hands like the body system. You heard them, people! I hollered. The body system. We will be using the body system today. All of a sudden, Missus bounded down next to my ear. Helping Farmer Flores does not mean being rude, Jenny B. She said, "I want you to be helpful and nice." But I am being helpful and nice," I said, "cause I didn't even tell anyone to shut up yet." Just then, I skipped to the end of the line and checked on Polly, Alan, Puffer, and Jim. "I've got my eye on you, two clowns," I said, very helpful and nice. Jim cockled really dude at me again. "Yeah, only too bad for you, Jim," I said, "cause I already looked around this place for roosters, and I didn't even see one of those mini guys. So, ha!" After that, I quick skipped back to the front of the line, and me and Farmer led the children to the pasture. Pasture is a farm word. For big grass and a fence. Only wait till you hear you hear this. There were four horses and two ponies in that pasture, and I didn't even run from them. Attention, people! Attention! I hollered. Do not be afraid of of the horses and ponies. Just stand very still, and they will not attack you. Probably, I thought for a second. Also, do not feed them cheese. Popcorn, I said. I looked at Farmer. I learned that from the zoo, I said. After that, Farmer held my hand, and we led the children to the barn. The barn is where the cows get milk. All of Room Nine had their noses in that place, cause barns smell like stink and hay. Farmer Flores told us all about milking cows. He showed us the machines that hoo up the cows. Plus, also we saw big giant cans that hold the milk. After it got done, he asked if we had questions. I raised my hand. If you breathe stink air into your body, does it make your inside smell like stink air too? Farmer didn't answer me. Only I don't know why, cause that is a troubling question. I tell you. After that, he took my hand again, and we took the children to to another part of the barn. There was a black and white cow there. Farmer showed us how to milk. Her with a milking machine that is called a dam cow, I believe. After that, Farmer Flores was finished talking about cows. 
Okay, boys and girls, let's go. Let's go back outside and visit some of the other animals. He said. Just then, I got a little nervous inside. On account of what, what if he was taking us to see the roosters? I walked outside very careful. Only good news. Farmer Lurus took us right to the pigs and pigs in a pen. And after that, we saw goats and lambs. And I pat a lamb on her fuzzy head. And that is not even the bestest part. On a counter, pretty soon, Mrs. Farmer Flores drove up on a shiny red tractor, and I was the first one to get to sit up there with her. I quick gave Mrs. My camera. Take my picture, please. Take my picture up here on on this tractor. I smiled very big for her. Mrs. Clicked me. That will be a beaut," I said. After that, I got down from the tractor, and I took a cow picture, and a pig picture, and a lamb picture. Plus, also, I took pictures of my bestest friends, named the Lucille and the Grace. Excellent pictures, friends! I said, real thrilled. I can't wait for mom, mother, and daddy to see them. Then I hurried to the big trash can. And I threw the camera right in there. See, Grace, see, Lucille. It is called a throwaway camera. Mother said that after you take the pictures, you just throw it away and buy a new one. And so, what can be easier than that? Wow! Said 